Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course you got here just in time. That is right, the sun has come out. It is a beautiful day, the first weekend in February. And I find myself at Lake Whitney State Park. And I have a helper today. This is Christian, the Go Tracks Gladiator. He's gonna help me do the scooter run here at Lake Whitney State Park. So let's jump on Little Red, the high speed mobility scooter, and let's go see some stuff. We're coming up on the entrance here. Of course we're at the entrance. We just started this tour. They do have public Wi-Fi here. If you need some firewood, they got a wood shack, vending machine. And we're gonna catch up to Christian, the Gotrax Gladiator. We are out here having the Dillo Days event. Hope we're not getting too much wind on the mic. Christian, that's Christian. He's a subscriber. He said Little Red is, is too fast, so I gave him a head start. Beep, beep. Oh, you scared me. Gotta do a camera reset as soon as we get to the turn up here. All that rattling noise is my second battery. My big battery has died, so we're waiting on a replacement. Anyway, let me do a camera reset. This is the horseshoe loop. This is where you'll find all of your full connection and pull through sites. What are, what are your thoughts on this campground, Christian? I like it so far. Liking it so far? Yep. We saw a lot of deer, didn't we? Yep. We saw a big herd of deer as we were headed out to the gate. So Christian, what do you what do you think young people ought to know about this Texas State Park? Well, there's a bunch of playgrounds. There's a big playground in one of those loops. A uh, big playground. That's an important thing to know. Yeah. What else? What else? There's swing in the horseshoe loop. There's what in the horseshoe loop? There's swings. Swings? Oh man, you mean there's some swings here? Are they the kind that you can go real high and jump out of? Yeah. All right. We can go break an ankle. Well, they do have some road issues here in the horseshoe loop. Yeah. Hopefully Tex Dot will get the message and come out here and repave the roads for us because they're kind of rough. So we arrived, actually I arrived on Wednesday in the middle of the great Texas ice storm of 2023. And there were still folks camped out here. There's a lot of people here for the Dillo Days event. The pickles on the road. There's pickles. We've got the Sunset Seekers. Who else is out here? Dude, RV. Dude RV's here, that's right. We have uh, RV on the wayside is here. There's Trudy Thunder, the Super C, the Super C RV. I, I can't hear you. Oh, there's oh, there's the swings right there. Awesome. And 
we have a little uh, primitive camping loop coming up. It's kind of interesting that they have a primitive right here off of the full connection. We'll swing through here, give you a look-see. Dodge all the potholes. All right, now we're going to head on over to the day use and cabin area. Ooh, but I got to put on some gloves. My hands are getting cold. All right, we are rolling. Go Tracks Gladiator! I think we need to run down and see a boat ramp before we do anything else. I'll wait on my, my assistant to catch up. That's your recreational hall. Reservations are required. And this is the trailhead for the load for the there's two hiking trails. That's one of them. That's the two bridges trail here. We'll go down this this way and we will visit the boat ramp for my boat ramp fan. Now, the weather was so bad when I got here, I haven't even been down to the water. But we're both getting a look at it for the first time. And, uh, Lake Whitney is an impoundment on the Brazos River. And it's, it's, it's still quite low. Head on back up toward the beach. The boat ramp overflow parking. This actually is the first Texas State Park, the first public campground where I put together camera and scooter
That was, that was somebody else on a three-wheel mobility scooter. All right, down here we're going to find the day use and cabin. We'll make right turns, so we'll be coming back through the screen room neighborhood. The co wash shelter loop. Now, a lot of the facilities are closed, turned, the water's turned off primarily because it's winter. Screen shelters. None of these screen shelters have RV power points. Back in this little loop, you'll find the cabin that have power and air conditioning. Two of them, very secluded. Plenty of room to park an RV, but there's not any power for an RV. Right. We'll zip down here and see this other one. Hold on. I could have I could have just made one loop out of that. Now you know. And that was a big tree. That's a heck of a stump there. Alright, let's go see a beach. Roads are pretty rough back here. Uh, many, many days of my childhood, many summer days of my childhood was spent swimming right here. There is Christian, the gold trash gladiator. All right, seem to be developing a bit of a following. More screen shelter. What a great place to spend some time in the summer. You don't have to worry about the bugs getting in your beer. That one, I like that one. I like that one a lot. I don't know what number that was. Let's go see some tent camping. Got it closed. We're gonna be breaking the law, breaking the law. That would be a fish cleaning station.
that's what it looks like from behind. Rough spot. Bend the knee. Ooh, man, TxDOT needs to do some work down here. These are all primitive sites, but man, you got some beautiful ones down here by the lake. Right, number 76. Christian the Gold Tracks Gladiator and we pass him on the outside. And this is the Bluebird loop. This is the 30 amp and water loop. Look at how them Canadians you Canadians don't know how to park. Uh, this, these are beautiful sites in here. That's site number 93. Oh, my nose is getting stuffy. Another 30 amp loop. This is the Road Runner, like 99 to 110. These are a lot more open. Seem to be pretty flat though. Oh, now there's a cool, cool pickup rig.
the Wichita Day Use Area. I don't think you'd want to be down here if it was too very wet. the gold fast gladiator coming into our final camping loop this is Lakeview and Sunset so if you're looking for some really great pull through sites at Lake Whitney this is where you're going to find them During the summer, you will find a plethora of temp campers in this loop. This is where the most modern restroom is found. Sunset Ridge. So if I'm camping at Whitney Lakes or Lake Whitney State Park, wherever you decide to put your lake, if it's in front or behind, this is where I prefer to camp. Although my preferred site is no longer available. How are you doing today? back we got a couple of couple of loop little loops to catch up on Ooh, and my ears are getting cold Check out these tent camping sites, then I will switch out batteries. One more place to visit. 
Hold on. We... There you go. There's Christian, the Bull Tracks Gladiator. So this this road loops on around. There is nothing over there. So we're gonna go back to that. Uh oh, we're breaking the law. I'll stop twice next time. So if you want to go camping in a Texas State Park, February after an ice storm, a great time to go. up the hill. Ooh, gotta slow down on this this really rough. Be able to see out in the, the field there and see the wildlife. All right. Now we're going to head on back to camp. I did. <sighs> we're definitely down to jogging speed. But we're in sight. We are, we are dead in the water. We are, we are, we're limping, we're limping, we're limping in. We made it. 
Just barely, but we made it. <laughs> those are those are always so much fun, even when we have no more battery left. I hope y'all enjoyed our little ride through Lake Whitney State Park. Check out this beautiful campsite. Wish you were here for Dillo days. Hey, if if you found some value or entertainment in my little video, I'd appreciate you clicking on that like and sharing me on your social media platforms. And if you've not already, I'd be so grateful if you would consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, which just about every RV you see out here has been following along, thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate your support. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?